A few weeks ago, we went all the way to the United States of America and to a certain shop called Dick's Sporting Goods. Now in Dick's Sporting Goods, we found some Callaway golf balls, limited edition, but you can only buy in Dick's Sporting Goods. They are for a charitable cause, which we will go through in this video. But also guys, they are triple track with black and green. Now this is quite an interesting topic because when Callaway released the triple track golf balls, the red and blue was scientifically designed to help you with your alignment because it is the colors that are used on, I believe it is an airstrip for landing planes, Chris? Oh, is it? I'm all up news to me. I believe it is, and it was a scientific uh, embarkment, but, embarkment. Right guys, we are talking balls today, so we're gonna use them. They are coarse Callaway Chrome Soft X Golf Balls. Um, and the one thing that I really like about it is my favorite color is green. I know it is Chris's as well. Very random, we've got the same favorite color. Mm. But they look fantastic. Uh, talking balls, par four, par, par five, par four, par three. Correct. We'll go. Long par three. Very long into the wind. So we already know that the Chrome Soft X is a nice low spin golf ball. And look at that for a first tee shot. Yes, please. Guys, get in the comments below, have you ever been to Dick's Sporting Goods? And what is the best thing you ever bought from there? I was like a kid in a candy shop. Now I must say, Chris, it took every ounce of my being not to come home with about 30 dozen of these, because I love the look of these. Yes, it is just a standard Callaway Chrome Soft. There's no real performance benefits from a standard one. However, we do However. always say, why do the Americans get the best stuff? Yeah, they do. And we actually went to, funny enough, we bought them on a different trip with a different brand. But then I went to see Callaway and they did have them in the factory and he said they are specifically for Dick Sporting Goods. It is to help Dick Sporting Goods Foundation Sports Matters help save youth sports. So I'll put a link to that in the description, guys, if you want to check it out. <coughs> Bless you. Thank you. Because obviously that is very important and it's great that Callaway and Dick's have teamed up with these. Um, this isn't a paid video, we just thought they looked really cool and why not help a great cause by helping people like that billions of dollars have been cut from school sports budget in recent years through the i'm not going to read through it but basically help save kids sport which is a fantastic what we like to see yeah. more golfers hopefully right let's see what a drive that is by the way low spinner that will do so guys, we all know the Callaway Chrome Soft is a fantastic golf ball. We don't need to kind of talk through the numbers here. It performs as well for me as a Titleist Pro V1, as a Telemate TP5, and as other premium balls. What ball do you use? Are you a Callaway man? Are you a Titleist man? Are you a TaylorMade man? Do you match up your golf ball with your clubs? Because I see so many people, if you're a Titleist man, you've got Titleist clubs, Vokey wedges, Scott Cameron Potter Pro V1 ball. If you are a TaylorMade guy, if you like Rory, if you like Dustin, then you're going to go Stealth 2, you're going to go P770 irons, you're going to go TP5. Tired? I'm very tired, mate. Yeah, how are you? Well, I'm just worried you once, won, you, you once ran a marathon. Chris, what are your, I'll put my medal on screen now actually. Chris, what's your favorite balls and why? Uh, again, I've used the Pro V1 for a long time, but the ball that we've uh, been testing the last couple of weeks, the Mizuno RB Tour is, is right up there for me. It's one that surprised me. Just like these Callaways, again, Callaway have now caught up as such with the Pro V1. Everyone seems to be getting closer and closer to performing just as good as that one. I know it's the number one ball in golf. It's got the biggest marketing. These balls now are really catching up. And I must admit, I really like the idea of a charitable aspect there. So I know Titleist often do the pink numbers. That's for breast cancer, I believe, here yeah. in the UK. Maybe it's America as well. But really, really like that idea of just giving a bit back to charity as well. So fantastic. Hats off to you all. James is due a haircut. But that's in the middle of the fairway. On the par five. Right, guys, 240 yards in, par five. I'm going to hit three wood, actually, because... I want to see how close we can get and then we can use this triple track alignment to help it is winter so i'll give myself an improved lie and i'll get the mud off it that is such a lesson for you all in winter guys if it is placing always get ball in hand always check it there was a big dollop of mud underneath there and that would certainly have probably been a lost ball uh, i've got my club it's here right we'll play a big draw over that bunker Who's going to win? Comment below. I bet that's so good it's just stayed straight. Solid strike. Sounded incredible that, didn't it? Oh, it's good distance. 
Well, I've got a seven wood in the bag, so I think that'll just go a little bit high. So I'm going to hit a four iron down there. But again, I've used this alignment, I've cleaned the ball, I've placed it. Again, winter rules, it's good to always test this. And if you're playing at the moment, do this as a test. Get that ball down. If you hit a soft fade, you can start to go, right, I'll aim it down the left-hand side. Can I get everything to match up to get that ball to come back? It's going to give you good feedback on where you are starting the ball. And it also helps you line up because a lot of times we see people think they're aiming square and they're round here. Yeah, I'm only just a little bit left. If I hit this, I'm going straight towards that pylon. So we can match the face first, build the stands, and then I can just swing normal. Great shot. That really is a great shot, you know. You sound surprised, James. I'm Well, I am surprised. It was bang on line. Shame uh, you didn't have enough club, really. Now, a little bit short, but you can see there with the divot, as James loves to show, a nice square with the bottom edge of the claw. I don't love to show a divot. You do, you love a divot. It's after the ball, as James always says, but that's exactly where I've started the golf ball, and then it's faded off just like my normal shot. One thing I really like about the green and black as well, I know it is obviously designed for the charitable aspect, but I like how because it's green and it, if it's like offline, it's not as off-putting as the red and blue. So it sort of blends in a little bit when you want it to. I'm not sure how scientific it was, but it was on the marketing. No, I know obviously from people and players on tour, they've seen people see which colour line suits them best. They might see better visually over the ball. Sometimes it doesn't always look straight. I mean, comment below, are you somebody who gets over... Maybe you need some glasses like Jones, eh? Well, that is very true. Maybe when you get over the golf ball and you look down, it doesn't look straight. Certain colours suit you better. But I'm just going to play a bump and run here with a pitching wedge. Let's see how this flight goes. Oh, that's a good shot. You see, nice and neutral there. You can see the lines on the ball, so in the winter we can really use it to our advantage. Two good shots, that, to be flag high into that wind. Two good shots, but position Z, I wouldn't want to have this shot. Oh, played it. Oh, what a shot that is, by the way. Exceptionally <laughs> well. That's like a one in a million, isn't it? Yeah, if James had that shot ten times, I don't think he would get one anywhere near. Right, Chris for birdie. I absolutely love these alignments. I would game these, actually, just for the green and black. Oh. Under red. Under pace. And overpaid. Was, uh, it was <laughs> under pace. A good roll, but. Ooh, putter. That roll was lovely. And Chris, if we just show them as well, so depending what putter you use, obviously, I know Odyssey have released the triple trap putters as well. But the old school red X, looking at that, absolutely perfect, isn't it? So if you do have an old school red X, and you want a nice kind of roll and roll and roll. That's worked great for alignment, and that's one up. Chris is racing to the tee. I'll, I'll let you go, mate, even though it's uh, it's my honour. Speed golf, ready golf. Great strike. Natural ball striker. And that is pin high. I've not struck that very well. Go. The golf played very safe there for the heart of the green. No, Chris, mine wasn't the best strike, but interestingly, we both lined those up at the middle of the green because you can see the bunker on the right-hand side. It's not a flag you're probably going to go near unless you're one down, which you are, but both at the middle of the green. So helping is just a line up there. Yeah, exactly, and that's one of the things. If you are somebody who you don't always get your aim right, James missed hit that. It bounced short, but if you didn't have the alignment aid and you're somebody who aims left consistently, you might have hit that straight into the pond because it'll be a miss. Well, I didn't strike. even mention the pond. It might have been a miss strike. You might come up short, you've aimed left, and it's quickly into the bunker, and you don't know why. You think you've pulled it, but you might not have pulled it. You've just hit a straight shot on where you've aimed. So, this is where, again, any ball with an alignment aid, use it to your advantage to help you save some shots. In or out? Uh, leave it in for me. It's gonna... Any put I've been holding recently, it's uh, flagging in, isn't it? Roll. Oh, it is as well. Oh my, how on earth is that? Well, it serves you right for walking after it like that. That's that was dead pace. A few times you've done that recently. Here we go. That's how you knock them in. Oh, square. 
<laughs> you absolute <laughs> guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> right, guys, I'm going to tee off, and I'm actually going to... Well, first of all, the tee lives on. This tee I've had for numerous years now. I stole it off my dad. Um, but I'm going to put the ball this way, so that's going to help me square the driver face up against the target. That's another way you can use these balls. I know this yeah. is nothing new to you all but it just helps if you do struggle squaring that club face up so you can see there i've lined that up with the top of the crown it's just a different way of thinking about that so i'm going to now try and get this club face square through impact which is the ultimate goal and that should be perfect with a nice low one around the corner in this wind and the tea lives on that is so good that is so good. Again, a nice shot. Again, like we said with this ball, the come on leaps and bounds are very close to a Pro V1 there. A nice flight into the breeze. It's not spun up and it's down there and it's all to You could ball. be a Callaway staffer with that driver and ball combination. I could be actually, especially in the green. We'll call you uh, Ortegi. Oh, right. Is he Callaway? He's Callaway. He's a live tour as well. Oh, well, there you go. Minted as well. <laughs> Right, I'm left side of the fairway. Chris is just up in the rough up there. I've got around 113. I'm going to try and chip a little nine iron up there. This is, I can't believe it's come down to this actually after commanding start and then I thought I'd hold the putt for the two. Oh, please be good. Oops. That golf swing felt very good. Come on. Looks good. Ledbetter would have been proud of that one, Chris. Oh, would he? Just got that arm there. The takeaway, the move away. Summer, that is in the ditch, unfortunately. So again, flying the distance we'd expect. I just know in the summer now, I need to take a little bit more off and aim the ball. Or just aim, hit the fairway. Oh, that's, that's the dream. That's a high one, has the wind brought that back? Oh no, oh it's long. I thought that was short, if anything. It's just a bit of a flyer, I think, there. Yeah. Eh? I'm flag high, Chris, as well. Well, we'll see. I could always chip in. I thought that might have actually stopped a bit more. It was into the wind and it's pitched there. I'll get that in a second and finished here. Chris is as long. He's putting this. He's, we're not at St Andrews anymore, Chris. Well. Turn. Wrong way. Oh. It did turn, but the wrong way. Get your marker out, son. So remember guys, this ball is a charity ball, so I will, uh, I'll put the description in, or a link in the description, should I say. I can mark this off the green because it's placing still. winter. For the match. Do you remember when you used to be able to leave the flag in now, because you were off yeah. and it felt weird, didn't it, at the time? Oh, you had the roll. It was a perfect roll, wasn't Had it? the line, but it forgot the legs. Chris, I think we'll finish this over on your channel with a short game duel. Oh, we're actually going to do a bit of shot shaping and short game. Oh, we'll the alliteration. There. Oh dear. And I'll see you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye.